this is the door that was painted with one coat of Kills Restoration. And here's the door that wasn't. Now it's hard to see what's going on without a really bright light. But there, there's the two doors side by side. You can't really tell that a whole lot has happened. I'm just trying to get the light in the right spot there. They're two basically similar doors and we're not seeing a big difference with the kills restoration on the left versus the two coats of kills odorless followed by a coat of uh, a top coat latex on the right. Uh, the door on the left also got those two coats. So we're basically saying kills restoration hasn't done anything yet. Uh, and I guess we're just going to see it through and see if this works. The same door after two coats of Kills Restoration. And I'm going to work the lighting a little bit. It appears to have worked after the final coat of, uh, it was a top coat of uh, bare paint. Uh, was applied. Uh, all the brown, yellowy stuff is indeed gone. Uh, and then here's the here's the original door. You can see the vertical streaks in the center, and on the right hand side, you can see the very obvious browning. So, so this is a winning combination, believe it or not. Uh, and this is a very bad case. The, the recipe one more time is two coats of Kills Restoration and one coat got a bare scuff defense, bare ultra, which is sort of the mid-range paint. Not taking any chances anymore. This has been really, really frustrating. I'm glad that it came through in the end.